two students, A and B, are working independently on a homework. And student A uh, takes uh, Y and X1 exponential hours to finish uh, their homework, while B takes, um, takes it with lambda 2 uh, parameter for the exponential. First, we are asked to find the CDF and the PDF of the ratio of the problem solving time. And then in B, we're going to uh, evaluate when the probability that A finishes before uh, B does finish his or her uh, homework. Okay, so let's write down um, the PDF. So the PDF. Uh, sorry, the CDF, let's start with the CDF of the ratio. I'm just going to call it uh, R for the ratio of um, Y1, Y2 is the same thing as the probability and uh, of, of Y1 divided by Y2 less than uh, T. And uh, just to be clear, this should be a T here. Right, it's T standing for time. And that is the same thing as Y1, so less than T times Y2. And the reason we want to write it like this is that we can now uh, take the uh, double integral over Y1 being less than T times Y2, and then we take another integral over the remaining support of y2 and to be clear because we don't know the distribution of uh, this ratio it is advantageous for us to work with the distributions of y1 and y2 alone all right so the um, the double integral of the region of interest is then let's start with the inner one. So we have y1 going from, we know it's exponential, so start from zero up to t little y2. And then uh, that over the, um, the joint PDF, x, uh, sorry, I'll do y1, y2. And then over d y one and then the outer integral we're integrating over the remaining support and we know that the exponential goes to infinity so we integrate over uh, that region we also know that the uh, joint pdf is independent so we can view these as two Keep on writing x, y1 times f, y2. And that we know, those we know, the exponential distribution, uh, the shape of it, because we are given here that information. Okay, so let's proceed with that calculation. Uh, we're going to write out the um, this inner integral y2 and that we know is uh, lambda times uh, so lambda 1 times exponential minus lambda 1 up to t and we're going to choose another variable here just to uh, well, should be y1 here y1 and then the outer part of this going to be lambda 2 like so or dy the exponential now is over this region here now this inner part here we can just evaluate it uh, mathematically as it stands but this is the um, the CDF of um, the y one uh, random variable. 
So we can just write it like so. So we write it like one minus e to the um, lambda one over t y two. And the t y two comes from the fact that we are evaluating it over this uh, value here. And then we have the remainder, which is um, lambda two exponential negative lambda two y d y two. There should be two there. All right, and then uh, this whole thing, um, working it through, uh, multiplying in this expression with that expression, and then that expression there, we can divide up that um, integral to um, calculate this whole thing. Um, So I'm going to um, then leave this actually for you uh, guys to do that. Uh, it's just uh, algebraic like, sort of calculus um, manipulations. This will um, amount to one minus lambda two t lambda one plus lambda 2 and simplifying this uh, I mean this this is a it's good enough uh, solution uh, but we can also uh, seek to write it out in the same um, same denominator so this one here we can translate to t lambda 1 plus lambda 2 divided by the same thing so we get t lambda two t lambda one plus lambda two minus lambda two and these guys cancel and then we're left with um, a cleaner uh, expression like that okay Let's move on to uh, right. Let's also calculate the PDF because that's uh, um, that was part of the uh, the question. The PDF of um, of this ratio is now the derivative uh, of so of of, of the um, of the CDF here. So we take this expression. We take the derivative with respect to t. So the f of this ratio is the same thing as the derivative of t uh, f of r t. This is the same thing as we would just calculate it. Let's copy this, duplicate it, put it in here. remove these terms like so and this uh, again by just uh, using the um, the rules of derivative uh, we will get um, so let's because we have two functions here so let's take the derivative with respect to this and then with respect to that and then simplify. So the first derivative is just lambda 1, t lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus, then we take it with respect to the second term, this one here, and leave the other expression intact. Uh, that is lambda 1 plus lambda 2. Uh, because this is a 
this is the same thing as uh, the negative like that so we then take the derivative of, of that um, division which gives us a minus one so this is multiplication by minus one uh, let me just write it a little clearer minus one and then this will be minus two now we take the derivative of the inner term and that is lambda one okay and this simplifies to just like that we get the negative from here t lambda one squared so you have these two terms and then we have what remains in here which is what we divide with so like that now this looks a little messy let's try to simplify it um so we can write the whole expression the same uh, denominator we see that we can multiply we have the same inner term so we can multiply with another to get a square so we do lambda 1 t lambda 1 plus lambda 2 and minus uh, this should be so lambda 1 squared and this whole thing divided by this now we see that when we multiply in lambda 1 uh, we get a square which is exactly this term here so this will cancel and we will be left with uh, lambda 2 divided by t lambda 1 plus lambda 2 squared and this is indeed the, um, the PDF of, um, of what we were uh, asked to, to calculate. Um, one little correction I see is that obviously I uh, forgot to multiply in this lambda 1 with the lambda 2 here. So... Um, this should be like that. Uh, my fault. There, okay. So now in the second part of this question, we are asked to um, evaluate the probability that A finishes uh, their homework before B does. All right, so what does that mean? Well, if we have the ratio of lambda 1, lambda 2, and then we're asked to find, um, let's see, the, the distribution for, so yeah, A is, is um, characterized by this y1, B by y2. So whenever, uh, so, so basically, whenever this ratio is equal to 1, so, so they are finishing at the same time. So really what we want is the, um, the probability when this ratio is up to 1. Okay, and So this is then the same thing as writing that the... Um, uh, whoops. The CDF of... 1, it's the same thing as then plugging in, uh, well, let's just write it out like that, uh, y2, 1, and this we just calculated from uh, this part here. So let's take that, oops, let's just copy it, copy like that. So setting, setting t equal 1 in this equality, we see that we get 1 here, 1 there. So the probability that A finishes before 1 is basically 
the ratio of this lambda rate divided by this uh, the, the 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 sum of both these events so this indicates a, a symmetry in this problem where we can look at the lambda rate as the um, sort of the classical definition or the naive definition of, of probability.